Hi, this is John Clements. Welcome to the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is April 18th, 2008. It's a warm, sunny day, about 80 degrees. And following a week of, of warming temperatures and nice weather, our apples have reached uh, pretty close to what I would call quickly uh, the half inch green bud stage. You can start to see uh, the flower buds. And uh, this is an ideal time uh, to put an oil spray on, especially with the weather warm like this and at this bud stage. Now an oil spray is probably targeting on apples, mites at this point in time, particularly European red mites. And it's kind of the linchpin of a, the start of a good IPM program in apples for the season. Now, like I said, this half inch bud stage here, as you can start to see these little mouse ears popping out, is an ideal time to put this oil spray on. And we want to put a rate of one and a half to no, certainly no more than 2% as we move into this bud stage. And it's important to get good coverage, therefore you want to put a dilute application on, a 1x application, uh, assuring that we'll get enough water and oil on to cover the trees and smother the mite eggs. So again, somewhere between one and a half to two percent. Um, as the bud stage uh, grows a little bit more and we approach tight cluster, definitely move that application down to one and a half percent of oil. That would be one and a half gallons of oil per hundred gallons of dilute spray. A couple of points to keep in mind with this oil spray is first, um, especially if we have a wetting period com coming up, this is an ideal time to also include a fungicide with the oil spray. You don't want to use Captan. Captan and oil are incompatible, but your EBDC fungicides uh, such as uh, uh, Dithane or Manzate are, are good. So it's also a good time to put that first good fungicide protectant application on. The other thing is you do not want to apply oil when it, the temperatures are supposed to drop into the mid 30s or below within say 24 to 36 hours of application. Uh, all this week we've been, we've been getting close to freezing or below but now the forecast says uh, nighttime lows of 40 to 45 so we're in good shape as far as that oil application goes. I also noticed as I was scouting this orchard and looking at fruit buds that the tarnished plant bug were out already. Now tarnished plant bug is a pest that emerges um, before bloom considerably we can use these white sticky traps hung at a fairly low level here um, below the first scaffold branches in the tree to monitor for tarnished plant bug activity. A threshold I believe is three to four plant bugs per trap. However, some people feel they're not really effective. A tarnished plant bug is, is causes, can cause some problems in excessive numbers, but in general we don't apply a pre-bloom insecticide for tarnished plant bug unless you were out scouting and saw a lot of feeding on the buds which typically uh, looks like oozing you see some ooze from the flower buds or you see a lot of tarnished plant bug active in, in, in and around the buds but again it's, it's generally not a, a huge problem in, in New England apple orchards. So this is John Clements for the UMass Video Fruit Advisor enjoy the weather and have a good week. I'm back quick with an update. Today's Monday the 21st of April and buds have really moved along. The weather is very, very warm for this time of the year. We're at a full tight cluster and even moving beyond that. So at this point in time you probably don't want to be putting your oil on any more than a 1% concentration. Uh, certainly no more than 1.5% down to 1% if you're going to be doing it in the next day or two as these buds are really moving along here. So glad to give you that quick update. John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor, uh, be good.